When the San Antonio missions were built, there were huge gardens that helped feed all the locals. Roughly 300 years later, they're still helping feed locals. Those gardens are being used and we're checking them out in this week's Texas Outdoors. Beets, turnips, we have spinach, uh, some fava beans, beans. Uh, we're going to be planting tomatoes and peppers out here, um, an eggplant out here for the summer. Angela McDermott uh, is in hog heaven. Just really was excited about growing my own food. The community that comes with growing your own food is just really something that I'm passionate about. You might say she's the head gardener for the San Antonio Food Bank overseeing 100 plus acres. It's a kind of a hidden gem um, with the San Antonio Food Bank and just for San Antonio um, to be farming like this within the city limits. It's a very large urban farming uh, operation. 55 acres next to Mission San Juan, more directly behind the food bank where vegetables grow to help feed more than 375,000 people. Typically, it's between uh, 100,000 and 300,000 pounds of fresh local produce to the community. That serves our 29 counties um, that, we, that we work within. Obviously, she doesn't do it alone. There are two other paid workers. The rest? We have anywhere from five to 9,000 volunteers. These volunteers are from one of the Charles Schwab offices in town. Maybe pulling some weeds up. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are. It's just not to the scale. Jeremy Fortune is a financial consultant, usually working with his brain, not his brawn, but didn't really know what he was getting into. Well, my, my thought was is that it was more like a garden for like maybe your backyard or something smaller. I had no idea it was up to this scale. This is massive, like 100 acres. That is a lot. They were stripping the mulch beds under new peach trees attacking it like they knew exactly what they were doing, even if it was for most of them their first time here. When he was telling us about how many people they feed, how many communities, how much crop they grow, it's so impressive. Ruby Kale admits she does not have a green thumb. She does love physical work, and this gave her the opportunity to get outside, which gives the San Antonio Food Bank something it can't get enough of. We use a lot of our volunteer power to be able to grow and harvest all these crops. And that's where I wanted to be. We've got some turnips over here. Oh man, I love turnips. Over with the veggies because they're ready to come out and there's nothing better than fresh out of the garden. I'm torn. I don't know if this is the best part or if this is the best So part. great thing you about know? turnips you is eat all of it. the whole thing is edible. It all looks good. Absolutely yeah. unbelievable how much produce that place uh, puts out. And then they have another property over behind the food bank itself. Mm -hmm. but, uh, hey, they can always use volunteers. It's a great opportunity for any yeah. kind of service organization to go out there and get your hours or, or kids in school, whatever. Yeah. So, yeah.